welcome to the very first edition of the Model United Nations Daily Broadcast. I'm Sainarin Chikiel from the Marlboro Delegation. And I'm Samantha Brooks from Seminole Delegation. Today we are taking a closer look into the process behind the madness of getting to money. We will also be exploring everyone's favorite part of the conference, the food, as well as taking a look into the past decade and what's to come in the next. Reporting from the lobby of the Hershey Lodge, we have Daniel Oberman with a story on the Mun Outlook. As the new year begins, we kick off our 2020 with the start of the Model United Nations Annual Conference. The goal of this year is to not only fulfill our New Year's resolutions, but to also pass new ones in our committees. Hi, I'm Vincent LaMonica. This is my fourth year in Model United Nations. This is my third year in Mon. This is my third year in Mon. Uh, I'm from Washington Township, New Jersey, and one word to describe uh, Mon, I would say, is um, excited. I'm from Washington Township High School, and one word to describe Mon is welcoming. My advice for first years would be uh, speak with confidence. Uh, everyone around you is in the same boat, and uh, just speak from your heart. And what you're um, I'm really looking forward to um, making new friends and definitely like um, listening in on different committees because that's like it's so interesting to see like what everyone has like in their own point of view of how to represent their own country. Thank you Dan. It's clearly a long process leading up to the amazing weekend. This weekend only exists because of the contributions made in months past. Reporting on that very subject, Brittany is here to talk about the past, present, and future of Ma'ali United Nations. The program serves more than 2,000 students across the Mid-Atlantic United States. This conference is youth-driven and ran by high school students for high school students. Although many things about conference have remained the same, it is interesting to see what different delegates love about the program. I've uh, been fortunate to be part of the program for the last 27 years. I uh, started out um, just as a, a delegate, like uh, a lot of the other college advisors and adult advisors, uh, and sort of watch the program progress over the years. Uh, when I started as a delegate, um, the focus was very heavy on debate, being a good delegate, knowing your country as well as possible. And while some of that's still true and important, um, over the years we've changed our focus from debate to character development and becoming better student leaders. And um, that took uh, form. One of the ways it took form is asking student leaders to participate in leadership rather than specific roles in the conference to help out. There are a number of, number of ways of doing that, being an officer, being a youth secretariat, volunteering their time if they come back as a college advisor. Um, and so I, I found that to be uh, very, very rewarding to see as well. Thank you, Brittany. Model, Model United Nations past and future are certainly interesting. Now to the next. With both complaints and praise, Conference Street has always been a topic of conversation, and as the media knows, a topic of conversation means there's always a story. Reporting from the dining hall at Hershey Lodge, we have Matt Panetta with a hot take on some hot meals. Nearly 1,500 individuals are attending MUN this year. That's nearly 1,500 individuals who need to be fed three times a day, at least. But how does an incredibly complex operation to provide food such as this get run? I decided to find out. My name is Elzor Olivo. I'm assistant baker manager here at the Hershey Lodge Convention Center. Thank you. You're welcome. It's decided how the food is organized when it's actually placed. As so, we have typically we have a standard. Uh, it's setting it up whether it's from salads, cold items, then our hot items in order from starch, veg, proteins. Uh, that's for typically laid out by our culinary team, so we'll reach out to our chefs and say, hey, this is how we're envisioning setting up the line, this is in line with our standards, any deviation. Um, at which point, if there's a deviation, we coordinate it through our daily meetings, and then we go from there. 